Today we're going to be putting ZR1 wheels on my Z51 C7 Corvette. Hi, Donna Marie here and I'm in Corvette heaven. Let me pan around. Every color you can imagine. C8s. And you're watching the Corvette channel. So as many of you guys know, you guys watch the channel all the time. You guys are seeing me put a ZR1 wing on my car as well as the ZR1 front end on the car. And um, I wanted to be able to put the ZR1 rim on the car. And um, when we went to SEMA last year, uh, we had talked to uh, uh, factory reproductions there and they said that uh, just hold off uh, probably in April or May um, of 2020 that they would have this wheel in a chrome. And um, sure enough, they make it for the Z06, they make it for the Grand Sport, and they even make it for the base C7. But for whatever reason, they didn't decide to go ahead and make it in the 1920 uh, staggered configuration for the Z51 car. So they only made it in the 18 and 19. So um, when I was originally doing this, I said, well, I needed new tires too. So I'm like, going, well, I'll just I'll call them. I'll just buy a tire and wheel package and we'll, we'll go with that. And, um, and I'll just go down to an 1819 rather than 1920. And they told me that no, you can't do that because the brake calipers on the front of the car will not fit. It's just not going to work. So um, not too long ago, uh, I was doing some more research, always looking constantly, waiting for calling people, trying to figure out when they're going to get the right, the rims, and nothing. And then I end up seeing somebody on the Corvette forum saying, "Look, I think they're going to fit." So, um, and he didn't say it as nice as that, but he's basically said it'll fit. So I broke out and a, uh, Terry and Linda, they have a C5 that actually has an 18 inch wheel. And so I grabbed their wheel off the car and put it on my car. And besides the offset being a little bit wrong, so the wheel wouldn't turn because of the offset between a C5 and C7, um, I could tell that I had clearance in the, uh, in the, in the wheel to be able to clear my rotor. So that way I went ahead and I ordered, um, found a company that's actually Audio City USA, um, they're on, on uh, eBay, and they're a reseller for factory reproductions. And so they actually had the best price out there for them. So if you guys are looking, there you go. Uh, but uh, they got these to me one day. Um, I'm in California, they were in down, uh, down south, and they had them drop shipped uh, to me the following day. And um, I went ahead and I pulled this one wheel right out here and put it on my car and it fits. Not a problem. I've got enough room, enough clearance for the wheel weight. I had taken uh, some wheel weights, I don't know if you can see that here, but I've got a couple of them just stuck on here just to be able to see. And I don't have a lot of clearance, but I've got about, about an eighth of an inch clearance with the wheel weight on there. So um, if you don't put the wheel weights on the outside edge and you only put them onto the back side of the rim, then you're not even gonna have even any clearance issues at all. But I'm here to tell you that this is gonna work. So I went ahead and I uh, ordered the wheel or the tires. Um, now, of all things, I had just bought brand new tires for for my 1920 configuration on, on my car now. Um, so luckily for me, Jennifer's getting down where she's only got, you know, maybe a few more months left of use on her tires. And, um, and then I'll go ahead and I'll be able to put those on her car so I'm not wasting that money. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and buy some of uh, the uh, AS3 run flats to put on this. And so we're gonna, we're gonna head out here in just a few minutes and head down to uh, America's Tire in Roseville. And uh, they pulled some strings. These, the AS3s, for whatever reason, uh, I guess it's just this time of year, um, there's kind of like a tire shortage. I'm not exactly sure why. Maybe the manufacturers are doing something different. Uh, I, I'm not sure. Uh, maybe they're changing up for the next generation tire, but they were hard to find. But uh, 
Paul over there at, um, at America's Tire was able to pull a few strings and got me all four of my tires. So we're going to be heading down there here in just a few minutes. Um, so anyway, uh, sit back and relax. I'm going to try to get some footage while we're there at the shop. I, sometimes they don't really want you filming that type of stuff, but I'll try to get a little bit of something. And then I'll show you what it looks like when it's all done. Now also, um, I'll give you the before. So I'll show you what the what it looked like beforehand with the original Z51 wheels. Um, and then I'll show you what it looks like with these wheels on here now or afterward. Um, so this way, if a lot of cars, I mean, there's a lot of Z51s out there that they just skipped them for whatever reason. I have no idea why they did that. Um, maybe they plan on building them later. I'm not sure, but there's been companies that have been like taking the Camaro wheel that, cause they make a Camaro wheel. It looks just, you know, with the right offset and everything to, to looks just like this one. And, but they're only making it in black. So if you're like me and you want it in Chrome, you couldn't find it. It just wasn't going to happen. Uh, I found one guy in Florida, a uh, really great guy. He said he could guarantee that he could get a set to fit my car, but it'll be in black. And so then I checked, and it, how much does it cost to have a set of these chromed? Well, it's almost $2,000 to get a set of these chromed. So before it was all over with, I was going to be in this thing $4,000 for a set of chrome rims. Um, so I, I didn't, I'm not having to do that. So um, anyway, we'll, we'll give you all that. This way you'll be able to see it. So if you have been deciding that you want to do the ZR1 wheel, um, on your car, on your your uh, uh, Z51, uh, then you'll know how to do it. Because I know, uh, as I'm seeing it, uh, you know, uh, you guys posting on the Corvette channel uh, on Facebook and stuff. You guys are p starting to do those extreme online front noses, and then and there's a few other companies that are doing it too. So you guys are kind of wanting to go for that look, and um, so this was a hindrance for us because we couldn't. Um, we couldn't find the the wheel that would fit, but it's it's going to work now, and that's, I'm like tickled. Um, also, let me t touch base a couple on a couple other things. Um, I am looking for a ZR1 look-alike front, the hood. Um, I understand there are a couple people, a couple companies that are making them. Uh, some are using uh, having to use hinge pins to hold them down. Um, <clears throat> I want to be able to use my hood just like it always does. Um, and uh, I've talked to ACS, and ACS is behind the curve. They're they're back ordered, so um, it's been hard to find. They're very expensive. So if any of you guys uh, that are watching this, you guys know of a company that makes a hood that looks like the ZR1 hood, um, that uh, you know that you can actually remove the old hood, put the new one on, and it actually hook hook on and work with the hinges and everything. Please reach out, leave a comment below, and let me know, or send an email. I would love to be able to do that. I'm going to put my email right here on the bottom uh, of the screen here, and then that way you can get in touch with me that way if you don't want to leave a comment. Um, and then a couple of other things. I, I I know you know that in all of my videos, or darn near all of my videos, I have um, a very a very pretty lady that will come on and say, you know, thank you for watching the Corvette channel, or, you know, you're watching the Corvette channel. Um, and, uh, you know, I've had a lot of different ones, and I want to thank every one of you girls. You guys have done such a great job, and it's so nice to be able to have that. Um, I want to try to expand this out a little bit. Um, if So it's not just a, you know, a, me having to reach out I, I want to just reach out to every one of you and say it, you don't have to be you don't have to be a pretty girl you can be a guy that's got your own car you want to show your car off um, just you know say hey I'm so-and-so this is my such-and-such -such car and uh, you're watching the Corvette channel and I would love to be able to have those and we'll be able to start putting those up also um, and so you can say thank you for watching the Corvette channel or you can say you're watching or you can do both if you have any questions feel free to give me a uh, give me a call email me whatever you like and I'll give you basically what I'm looking for um, but I would be tickled if you would do that and if you would do it in this format where it's the landscape format so it fits the full screen rather than the way you do it with a cell phone 
If you're doing it with a cell phone, that's great. The quality is still great with all these cell phones nowadays. Just turn the phone on its side, and it works so much better for me when I'm editing it. Um, anyway, guys, I just want to thank you for all of that stuff. We're going to jump into the video now. I know I'm long-winded long today. It's been a long time since I've actually got a video up. Um, and so I saw that we did a live stream. You guys uh, got to watch that last week with the car show. I know the quality was terrible. Um, and that's because of my where you go. A lot of times we do these shows. They're not in downtown right where a cell phone uh, cell service is. So you end up with this kind of crappy service. So anyway, I did some other video while I was there. I will be making a video so you guys will be able to see that and it'll be nice and clear. And uh, there's some, we did an under light uh, kit on the, uh, under glow kit on the, on my C7. And I tell you, it looks just looks awesome. If you want to see what it looks like before I get the video up and around, uh, just take a look at the banner photo right now on uh, the Corvette channel on Facebook, and uh, you'll see what I'm talking about. It just looks awesome. So, um, guys, I want to just thank you for watching it. We're going to jump into the video now, and hopefully this helps, because uh, I know it really helped me. So, anyway, see you soon. All right, guys, well, we made it to America's Tire. It only took us like forever and a year. The uh, pumpkin farm that we had to drive by had, was uh, it's completely packed, and so traffic was terrible. We ended up late to our appointment, but they still were able to take care of us. Bryce got us all checked in, and in the process, I had a tire on the Escalade decide it was gonna go bad on the way here. Jennifer was following me in the Corvette originally and she called me and she says, hey, this thing is having a major problem. So I pulled over on the side of the freeway and sure enough, I had a belt actually, one or two belts break on the truck, on the front tire. So um, not only are they putting the tires and wheels on the Corvette, but they're also uh, replacing some tires on the Escalade too. So uh, bad day for my pocketbook, but uh, great for them. And they're, and they're, uh, they're they're still taking really good care of us. So we're gonna go walk across the street and get something to eat because it's already been a long day. All right, so we'll be back as soon as it's all done. Hi everybody. You guys all see Terry and I doing these installations on these videos as we show you how to go about doing it. And I'm always saying that if you guys don't wanna do this yourself, don't wanna tackle it yourself, to reach out and we'll give you a quote on how to do it. Well, a lot of you guys have done that. And in doing so, um, we are now very busy doing this and we've actually turned this into a business. So um, if you are needing anything done as far as, you know, like you've seen us do a front nose, you've seen us do wings, you've seen us do arrow kits, all that type of stuff, reach out to us, we'll get you a quote. If you're in this area, man, we'll be happy to take care of you. Um, and we've also had some people contact us from uh, Florida from Yosemite, from Los Angeles, and people are bringing their cars um, all the way as far as Las Vegas um, for us to do the, the work. So um, I haven't ever really advertised that. I always have just kind of been passing. I just say, oh, you know, if you want us to do it, reach out, we'll give you a quote. But we are fully going forward with that, and, and it's turning out to be a pretty, pretty cool little deal. Um, most of the people know that by doing what we're doing, they know we know what we're doing because they've seen us actually do the work. And so I've actually offered people that have been far enough away, I've offered to say, hey, you know, be sure to tell your body shop, um, don't do this, do this, don't do that, whatever it may be, just to make sure that they don't do any damage to the car. And people are saying, no, we just want you guys to do it. So um, if you guys knew are in need of any of this type of work being done, let me know, reach out to me. I'm gonna get that information right here on the screen and we'll be happy to help you. So anyway, back to the video. Well guys, we made it back from lunch and they've already got the Corvette done. Take a look at that guys. Doesn't that look awesome? Man alive. I am so glad that I went ahead and went with this and took the gamble on the fit. I mean, it's tight. Get, I mean, on the back, not so bad. I mean, there's plenty of room in there. You can see that. But come up here in front. You can see this is close, but it 
definitely works. Look at that. So, for all of you guys that have been wanting to do this and have been told that it won't work, well, there's living proof right there that it does. So, there's the other side. And I tell you, you can't ask for any better. And that makes actually makes the brakes look even more beefy, just in the sense. And the thing is, yes, the sidewalls of the tires are just a hair bigger, but that's not enough to really make any difference. I mean, you'd have to get your measuring tape out to double check that. And take a look at that, guys. Doesn't that look awesome? All right, so now we're just sitting around waiting for the truck to get done and then uh, we'll be good to go. Here's my new one restrictor that I just got. Please check out the link below and also mention the Corvette channel so you can get your 10% discount when you go to order yours. So guys, we got the car home and you guys take a look at this. You see what I'm talking about. It's, it's tight in there, but it clears. And so these wheels, with the tire, the, the tire and wheel combination that we have here, um, which actually, let's see here, is a 245-40ZR18. That equates to the same size tire that originally comes on the car in a 19. So your overall height ends up being the same. So... Um, you can't get much better of a fit. Um, I've driven the car. There's no problems. No, no, nothing hitting. Same thing up here in the in the rear. There's a little more room in the rear, obviously, because the rotors um, and the calipers are much smaller in the rear. And these are 19s here. And let me see to get you the size for this one, just to make sure. This one. Let's see. This one's a 285. 35 ZR19 and you can see that that fits just just fine just great so guys you being told just like I was being told that you can't put these on a Z51 well I call I call that um, I'm gonna say it uh, I just don't agree with it um, but uh, anyway uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video today hopefully it helps you so if you decide that you want to go out into an aftermarket wheel and uh, and you're just being told by the guys that are looking in the books that they won't fit well you can watch this video and you know darn well that it is so anyway guys thanks again for watching and we'll talk to you later okay thank you for watching the Corvette channel Bye.